Hi guys, my name is Peter Burrows. I am a freshman here at Michigan State University, but I'm originally from Bowling Green, Ohio, which is about two hours south of here. He was so confident that he needed to move out of this little town and to experience more, and, and he found that at MSU. The day I moved in, my whole family brought me up to MSU. Um, we're gonna go in here to the right. I feel like I'm really moving in and everything, and this is great. So, I mean, I'm, since I'm just a freshman, I don't have like an official seat, but I've kind of claimed this as mine as long as nobody needs it. I'm actually about to go work in the gel lab, uh, Games for Entertainment and Learning, and um, I work there as a research assistant uh, developing games. Lots of opportunities up there for him. He's kind of occupied all of his free time. So the location we're picking apples at is the country mill. I honestly didn't expect so many things to be going on. It's a different thing to know that there's 400 clubs on campus, 400 plus clubs, and then to actually be participating in some of those. It's just made me really happy to be here and uh, being involved in everything, you know? It was um, very important to him that um, that he's part of the community. He kept saying, I'm a Spartan. I am truly a Spartan. Even before, you know, uh, he f finally made that decision um, to attend MSU. One of the best things about MSU is that so many people bike. But on the flip side, you'll get somewhere and find that all the bike racks are taken. Um, the first week maybe was a little, uh, little shaky, like just getting to know people. And then after that, we were like family and our floor especially, uh, honors floor and Brian Hall, it's, we're really tight. I think the reason I like art is because I can make something out of nothing, and art is a way of making people happy. So what type of things does an artist do for fun? Well, I found all these whiteboards in the dorm rooms, and I've been coming over here and secretly drawing little pictures like this Pikachu over here. And so far, I don't think anybody knows that I've been doing this, so shh, don't tell anyone. In high school, I decided um, if I had to cut any activities, piano would not be one of them. I would definitely be keeping piano my whole life, so it's just, uh, I can play it and relax, and it also, uh, it's my way of uh, expressing myself and my emotions and getting it out and de-stressing. Uh, most of my professors are really cool. Um, I think Robbie's definitely one of the coolest. Skateboard. Really into the topic too. Like he does uh, research on video games and video game avatars and different types of social media. So he's great and funny to listen to too. So um, we uh, just talked about some of the history of video games and that's really relevant to what I'm doing, especially in the gel lab because that's my major. So it's good to know some of the backstory about that. He spent a lot of time communicating with the faculty members um, in Com Arts, uh, talking with them individually, showing his uh, art portfolio to them. And through the conversations with the faculty members, he realized that many of them come from very diverse background. And um, he felt that was important to him. Well, today um, we're working on our uh, game jam. All the people in SpartaSoft get together in groups and we try and make a game within 48 hours. And hopefully um, by the end of the event, we'll actually have a game that can, we can play and everything. And uh, the, we just finished up our game and it's uh, about as done as it's gonna be. It's looking pretty good. And uh, we're about to go see all the other people's games and display our own. Whoa. I'm impressed because we've created so much content. So, uh, this is our game, it's called Medicine Man. It's about uh, Medicine Man. <laughs> we actually did manage to get a game with uh, one complete level in. And uh, yeah, it's really fast though, 48 hours. It's pretty crazy, but I think it's the best way to gain experience making games just because it kind of forces you into the situation. <laughs> this is awesome. One of the things he wanted to do was make armor or like costumes into this cosplay thing. And Well, uh, this is my suit of armor for the apocalypse. So uh, I made it last year because uh, it was going to be the apocalypse on 12-21-12. But obviously we're still here. So now I'm left with the suit of armor. When we started touring uh, campuses, he put that in his portfolio. And that was the one piece 
everybody looked at. So they said, oh, what's this? And he said, I made it out of newspaper. And then they were all shocked. And it seemed to be the highlight of his portfolio. So <laughs> looking back, we thought, oh, why did we scold him for that? Yeah, people probably think I'm a little weird. But um, I kind of like uh, getting that out there, just showing what I can do. <laughs> There are certain occasions for it. I think the semester was the best semester anyone could ever have at college. <laughs> He's learned so much already um, in a semester and a half from MSU, and I can see so much potential uh, in his future. I've been trying to think about what makes me a Spartan, and um, from everything to staying in shape so I can look like Sparty, to um, putting 110% into everything and trying to accomplish as much as I can here.